Today we're going to install a Subco Hard Start RV AC capacitor because we're having some issues with the generator running the AC alone. I'll show you what happens. Uh, right now we're on generator power. We have lights on, interior lights on, and if we go here, we go low heat, it's fine, low, cool, low fan is fine, high, fit, high fan is fine, but watch what happens when we go to low cool. Our generator starts spasming out, and we have light flickers, especially when we go to high cool, and it doesn't work. There's no cold air. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Gonna disconnect shore power. Shore power's all off. Gonna grab our capacitor. already got the AC cover off. You can see that we have a... Okay, so I had to stop and check my capacitor and I had to make sure that I got the SPP6 not the SPP6E, which I originally had, because the SPP6 is 90 volts through 277 volts. So here, if I look here, I got 115 volts. So I couldn't use the SPP6E because it was only 170 volts to 277 volts. Um, this one, the SPP6, uh, has a wider voltage range. So we'll go ahead and install that. Side here. I'm going to leave this here for now. I'll come in and install it cleaner, cleaner as soon as we do our test. So, I'll go restore shore power. Got shore power restored, and we'll go ahead and test the sucker out. That seems like things are running a little bit smoother there after the first initial start. Getting a little bit of cold air here. Yeah, getting some cold air. Okay, so I got some cold air coming out. Lights are stable. 
generator seems to be stable. We're gonna make sure nothing exploded on the roof here. We are now successfully running our air conditioner on a single generator. A single Honda EU 2000i paired with a Subco start capacitor. Get some cold air. Alright, that's it.